Hey everyone, back Do for another wait. game. Okay, you did that on purpose. Redo it. No, I'm gonna, I was chewing and then I was gonna. You were gonna what? I totally did it on purpose. Yeah, we. Yeah, I know your game by now, buddy. All right. Anyway, it's root time. That's Perry. He's here. Hey everyone. I got a candy bar. Yeah, you do. Uh, Robbie's here too. Well, I do not have a candy bar. Yeah, and I blackmailed him into joining this game, apparently. And Christian is also here for the first time. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a candy bar right now. Oh yeah, what kind? I don't know. I have to like go downstairs and find out what we have. Oh, you just got candy bars? That's pretty My sick. My mom usually has like one or two. Nice. Somewhere. Nice. I'll tell you, this cookies and cream really doing it for me. Cookies and cream's all right. The cookies and cream is good. Dude. It's pretty good. It's not all right. Holy shit! <laughs> no shot. <laughs> what? The scoundrel locked in as my the first up, pick. Oh man. Okay, I gotta look at my options here real quick. <laughs> so wait, do you want to tell us what the options are? Cause we can't see yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some cats. I got some woodland alliance. I got some crows, and I got some moles. That's fun. Yeah. Well, I've played with all these uh, recording-wise before. Who's next to pick? Perry? Um... Yeah, you know, a lot has happened since the last time we posted a recorded game. Yeah, it's been like a whole year. Yeah, Cole and I moved in together. Yeah. So that was a really big step for us. Worst decision I've ever um, made. And now, instead of playing Root Naked, in my room alone at my old place I now play Root Naked in our shared living room can uh, actually not confirm this because this is the first time we've recorded a game this is Schrodinger's Naked right now until I go out in the hallway and look I will not know whether or not he's telling the truth <laughs> okay I think I'm just gonna go with the moles oh yeah. yeah, you would, buddy. I would. And I did. So wait, I've got a lion's crows and cats, then? Yes. Let me just pick a spot. Go right here, I think. Wait, I thought we were going to play on the winter map. This is the winter this, map. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, gosh. That made me feel dumb. What map did you think it was? Autumn. Uh, it's a little dark right now because it's like the bird song phase. So. Or does it like change like? Yeah, it'll change. Cool. Uh, yeah, how it's lit, lit up. Also, you you can zoom all the way out to the max zoom to see Holy just the shit. meeple icons instead of the three D models if you prefer that. I just completely meant to click the button to like hide the things so let's get the map and click the line. Is there an undo button? <laughs> oh well you're good. Buddy. So. You're oh, good. That's awesome. I mean well, we could always reset it if you really want to, but No no. I, this is like the only situation probably where I would end up playing the alliance. By misclicking? So. Yeah. Okay, so you welcome it. Yeah. Alright, well good to hear. I'm gonna change everybody's Discord nicknames to have the faction they're playing in them. I was about to do mine, I was just in shock. Robbie Vagabond. I can do it for you. Ooh. Harry Lines? Yeah, you would. I saw I, it, I, I feel saw like it picking the out. cats is the Kind of punting the game to the vagabonds, so I had to pick this guy. If that makes sense, I don't be too afraid of me. I think it's fair. Crows are pretty good at. Uh, I think crows have a pretty good matchup here. So this is like nearly an identical scenario to a crows game where I scored 26 points in one turn. So just putting that out there. But we're relying on the moles to take care of this problem. I'm gonna have to try. 
but that also probably means I'm gonna have to build a citadel which I don't like but I'll do it if I must gotta draft those hands mm. I don't mean to get too uh we all do this too early here right? Right? but we can't just let that guy have a citadel did you not hear what I just said about scoring 26 points in one turn as the Crows in this exact matchup? Well, doesn't mean you need a Citadel. Kind of does, though. I forgot the game politics started before we even took the first turn. Well, it's Perry. I have no coal, too, so... <laughs> yeah, okay, that, that's fair, Christian. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. This is your second time playing the Crows, I believe? Um, I think third. But... Oh, all right. Well, also your first time playing Root Digital, because uh, yeah, you just got can. it on the sale. Well, you can still take stuff back. I yeah, think, but... you can undo as long as you don't uh, do any like revealed information shit. So like, if you walk into Outrage and give the Woodland Alliance a card, you can't undo that. Obviously, if you roll dice, mm -hmm. you can't undo that. Um, but sometimes there's just a bug and you can't undo it anyway. So I would try and you know not rely on it too much, but for the most part you'll be able to undo <laughs> when it makes sense. I also notice I only have two of each plot. Yes, that is the normal crows. I Actually, I don't think I ever told you that three of each plot crows is not normal. It should be, but it's not. Okay, that's just like you took pieces from... Yeah, they, they have, oh, um, okay. they have a, uh, a backup set of plots because if they get chipped you can more easily identify them without you know actually flipping them over so the idea was to sense. have eight more plots that could replace those in case of damage but I just use four of them and a lot of people just use four of them to add on to the eight so that you have three of each that's it yeah we don't use the common vagabond house rule at our table though, so the Vagabond will play exactly the same as you're used to. Yeah, the reason we don't use it is because only one person at our table has ever won with the badge. Yeah. Don't have very good Vagabond players at our table. Except for one of us. And... Oh, swap meet. It's a good card. Choose it. Okay. And then... Do I actually, like activate this? Oh, I see on the right yeah, side. Yeah, so it'll it'll have that little like white highlight when you can activate it. All right, that's fine. I don't even remember <laughs> what card that was. It was a uh, well, I won't tell anyone. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me just. Are, are you? Are you gonna be mad at me if I try and guess your plots? I know you're going to anyways, no matter what I say, so it's fine. <laughs> no hard feelings. I don't want to say it's an addiction, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't think you guys have gotten to see enough games that feature Perry and an opponent, Corvid Conspiracy, because this guy has a problem. He has a serious right. problem. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to try and rein myself boxes. in. Yeah, when it's zoomed all the way out, I don't know if you have it zoomed all the way out right now. Sometimes it doesn't, like, the highlight doesn't quite... Yeah, I, I don't know how it's, when it's fine now. We're good. Yeah. I wish when you were zoomed in, the, like, play... Like, the gamification markers were a little bit more clear. Like they are when you're zoomed out. Gamification Do those words make sense? markers. Like the suit? Like, like the clearing suits? Like, all the stuff that you see when you're zoomed out it, it has like a smaller version when you zoom in like the vagabond you know you see the scoundrel face when you're zoomed out mm -hmm. when you zoom in there's just that tiny little v i wish this stuff like that was more pronounced oh i see so you want like the moles to have a little mole head under their feet uh yeah what do they actually have a circle just a brown circle yeah, I mean, you can zoom in, right? Yeah, but I don't want to miss what's going on, seeing as I'm, discovery. you know, broadcasting the game to millions of adoring fans. Oh, the game starts? 
Yeah, the game did start. Anything interesting happened? No, nothing at all. Uh, skip. Oh, it's my turn. There you Get go. That. Hmm. Well, guess it's time to get going. No clearing for Volton, huh? What does um Robbie start? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I think it did that. What were you gonna ask? How I can like view what he starts with, but I can, oh, you can yeah, click yeah. on his little portrait. Yeah, you can click on the faction boards to see pretty much everything that you would need to know. Yeah, Robbie, you're gonna want to aid me a lot of cards this game in order to get some much-needed points. To keep you also Russia. want to activate outrage as often as you can. Yeah, this is, if I remember right, I'm supposed to snipe as many of these little mice as I can. That sounds right to me. I, well, mm. <laughs> Only when, well, not as many as you can. There, you gotta have a little restraint. Just a tad. All right, the Woodland Alliance is getting out of hand. No! I'm saying, man, he's all up in Mole Town, too. I don't care about Mole Town. Didn't even want to go How guess the crow plot. You know what? I zoomed in and I didn't know it was there. I would totally be over there right now. I, man. You can undo. This is why we zoom oh, out, folks. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And it begins. Witness the gambling addiction in real time. Oh. <laughs> oh man. All right. This well. So high. This, uh, I would say, the game's balanced now. <laughs> Good job, Perry. Thank you. Now, Christian, to retaliate, you could just kill all of his sympathy. No. That's what I'm thinking, too. Like, just recruiting Fox and just bang, bang, get them all. Mm-hmm. I only have to give him, like, eight cards. Only, like, three. But who cares how many cards he has if he can't revolt? I don't... It, uh... Until he gets a base, he can't have more than five. Seems like a pretty good option to me. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll get a mole here. And I think I'll get... Um, actually, hold on. I do the same freaking thing every time I play the moles. Let me try something else, okay? Something new. Those, those freaking moles. That's what Watch I'm out, saying, guys. man. Watch out, guys. He's gonna be like, oh, I'm playing suboptimally. I'm building a citadel. And then he's gonna... He's gonna... I'm not claiming to build you know. suboptimally. I think this is actually the right move here. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> you heard the man. He thinks he should blow him up. Now what are you talking about? Well, is it like a, a bad play for me to go Scorched Earth turn one in there? I think that would probably <laughs> be in your best interest. <laughs> Get rid of my Marshall, you know, really show me. It would be pretty funny. I do really like the Scoundrel. Scorched Earth is so fun. He's my beloved. Give up. Sorry, I mean murder. <laughs> you don't want to murder any of your items? Sorry, I mean kill. <laughs> <laughs> right. If I shoot the sympathy token, I'm going to have to give him a card, right? That's uh, right. Correct. If you have a fox, right? If you don't have... If you have fox or bird, 
you have to give it to me. If you don't, I draw a card from the deck, and you have to show me your hand. Oh, that's nasty. Okay. Can I tell you guys a secret? What? Earlier today, I'll give some context for any any viewers. I was working at a place called Mathnasium, which is a math tutoring center. Mm -hmm. And there's a new instructor there that one student said was better at 24 than me. And 24 is a game where you get four numbers and you have to try and make 24 using like all four numbers in addition to subtraction, patient division. And a student said this guy was better at 24 than me. So I was telling my friends here about that when we first got on this call. And then Christian asked, can you make 24 with any four numbers? And I was like, oh, well, probably not. There might be a way to tell. So I looked it up and the internet said, I didn't do too much research to get to play the game. The internet said a surprisingly difficult one is making 24 with numbers 3, 3, 8, and 8. And I think that my absent-mindedness in terms of clicking the wrong faction and not really the game has started is mostly due to the fact that I've been completely consumed by trying to make 24 with 3, 3, 8, and 8 this entire time. It's been like 30 minutes. 3, 3, 8, and 8. You said yeah. it was just addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? A fucking logarithm? I was just like asking. Exponent, I didn't maybe. hear you the first time. I had to get up. <laughs> oh, you gotta so stop taking that here. card, man. What? You gotta stop taking that card. <laughs> it gave me the same one. I know! Oh. Now you want it. Okay. I do. I love the crow sound effect. It's really good. It's really good. Oh, man, I have my sound off because I'm on Discord on my computer, but the game on my phone. Can one of you guys... Car! Can one of you guys Car! Say... Car! Thank you. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> okay. Could you also remind me what the music sounds like in the background? No. <laughs> you know... No. It's like bum ba dum ba dum, bum bum ba dum. Oh uh, wow, that's the next part is hard to sing, but I'll. <laughs> My hero. One time we were uh, streaming a game at my house, the physical version, and I don't know why, but Perry and I started singing the root digital song, and then someone in the chat asked us to stop. <laughs> so that's what he was referencing. Such haters. Dude. We were doing a great job. Uh, Cold as it makes very, sense. They were very polite. But <laughs> that's really funny. Does it make sense to kill his sympathy if I don't kill the other one? Because he he goes next after me. Like if I only kill the one in the mouse, would that be like bad? Um Yeah, I think that would not be ideal if you Well the thing is the thing is if he revolts on the plot, he just gets rid of it, so it's up to you if you think it's worth that. I think it is. Oh wait, he always rolls the higher number. I'm fried. Yeah, but I'm defenseless. Okay, okay, we're good. Yeah. I actually just got a little pop up. There's a crow explain to me what defenseless means. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the tutorial guy. Very nice one. That's um, fun, that's a crow. Yeah, that's neat. I wonder if it like, just happens to be a crow or if like, it changes it because... I can't just happen to be a crow because they haven't been in the game the whole time. So they must have, right. yeah, have right. it set to be whatever. Um, but I was going to say, like crows in general, like... when Out of the ten factions in the game, I am the least inclined to care about like the other, like, how much I'm helping or hurting the other factions when I'm playing the Crows, right? I just do whatever, whatever I think is good for me. Be a greedy I guess that makes sense. Yeah. They have a hard time, so. 
And you just let, it, let everyone else do the work for you. So if I revolt on Robbie, he damages three items? Yeah. How could you? And if I revolt on Cole, he loses one mole. Yeah. I gave you a card. Yeah, I, I did really appreciate it. I don't want you to get too comfortable, though. I'm just, just living my life, man. Damn. I thought for sure you were going to revolt on me. That's crazy. This is the saddest thing I have ever seen. I'm sorry, Robbie. You did not deserve that. <laughs> but, you know, one mole... I mean, Robbie was going to have a bit of a rough time even with, you know, not getting attacked the whole game, I think. But now, he's going to come out of that forest and drop his torch right on your base, and you're going to have yourself well, to blame. I don't think he really needs to go to the forest, right? Because Well, I'm not talking about necessarily right now, but like he'll get there some point, and then he'll come out and be on the warpath for mouse and fox blood and just drop it on you. <laughs> Uh oh. You would. Don't say you would never. Yeah, you would spread there, buddy. <laughs> Do I expose a plot now? Yes. I should? Mm -hmm. I want the card. You don't get the card if he gets it right, though. He's not gonna get it right. It's something he would never think I would put there in the Oh movie. my it's... god. A complete Oopsie. whiff. <laughs> no more cards to guess with? No. That's a shame. Yeah. And good information about the composition of your hand. That there's nothing in it? No, he's got two cards, according to his little thing. But if he's to be believed, there are only fox and rabbit cards. How do you see his hand size? Uh, if you click on his thing, there's a little cards in hand next to his officers. It's I now see, down yes, to well. one because he just mobilized, but... Bad ties. I can't exhaust damaged items for aiding, right? Uh, correct. You can't do anything with damaged items except refresh them. Until they're repaired. I actually really am glad that you're playing the Scoundrel Robbie though, because the crossbow is going to be really useful, because I think we're going to have a Woodman Alliance problem. Me too. I really he's going. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that you'll have a wooden lines problem exactly. I think that coexistence is probably ideal. Maybe for In your agenda. The words of a wise friend of mine, we can talk about this. Don't bring up Rick on this channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, Robbie, if you're pushed into the corner, man, I wouldn't hold it against you. <laughs> this isn't a logged game anyway. Yeah. Well, it's logged in the sense that everyone, all the millions of adoring fans online are going to see that you did this. But, you know, if you can live with it, you, you can live with it. You know that I don't care a fuck about any person or their opinions of me unless it is reflected on the spreadsheet. I mean, I was talking to Robbie, but that's fair, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robbie, I just got a present for you. I know, I saw, I saw something. What? You can't see my hand. Well, I believe. Okay. I Thank can you see for your hand. 
You got swap meet fox folk and protection racket. No, no, no. I just drew it. I just drew it, okay? What does this megaphone next to the crows mean? Next to the crows? Oh. It's it's what they're when they yeah, when they proc oh. outrage. I just had to take a second to put myself back in the shoes of the Woodland Alliance. I think the Woodland Alliance yeah. are the faction that I do worse with, the worst with relative to people's opinion of how strong they are. I feel very rusty right now overall, and playing the Woodland Alliance is not making it a lot easier. Ooh, the Mingravers. Mm-hmm. Ah. The Batours. I gave him that. Whoopsie! If I recruit in the, like, Outrage... Wait. Uh, it's if placing. Recruit honestly, recruiting in Outrage is not... Okay, that's cool. Yeah, because it's placing, not moving. Thank goodness, or the Woodland Alliance would be completely unbearable. <laughs> They're already pretty bad. Tell me about it. Get this guy out of here. Damn. Ooh, and he gets the little... Ooh, okay. Oh, shoot, I needed that. Uh-oh. <laughs> what I, mean. <laughs> I forgot it took birds as well. Yeah. Were you going to recruit with it? I was. I was going to do a little mouse mouse recruiting. Mm. You, got, you got a good amount of mice still. I got, a, I got a got a mouse or two. Yeah. Little bit of mouse in my life. Oh, I should have swapped me to coal before I recruited actually. Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. No, this card sucks. Yeah, it does. But actually, hold on. No, it sucks. Give it back. Yeah, this card sucks. What <laughs> items are still in the ruins? Is there a way I can find that? Uh, well, I can just tell you. So you've got a bag and sword a and boot. Yeah, bag and hammer. Bag and hammer. Yeah, I've played before. Maybe one. Just a few times. Tell me you've played root before. Without <laughs> telling you you've played root before. And the question is, what items are still in the ruins? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like... Uh-huh. Now, to be clear, Robbie's probably played at least 10 games of Root. It's just been a while. So, Robbie has played Root before. I've even made an appearance on this channel. Yeah. Was that the game that I wasn't very happy about, do you remember? Uh, all of the games that we recorded for the channel previously were with Jamie and Robbie. Oh, Rick never was on a recording one? Nope. Don't speak his name, That's man. He doesn't hilarious. exist. Man, I had to sneeze and I was trying to like find the mute button on my thing. And then while I was focusing on that, I didn't have to sneeze anymore. I was actually just thinking about what you would do if I sneezed on camera. Oh, wait. The best thing to do. Now, Christian, you is can't flip say... the plot in Fox. Why not? Because you don't have a crow there. I was about to tell you, but then you ended the turn. Uh, I'll figure it out, don't worry. Yeah. Well, I think one of us might figure it out for you, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh they get a turn. card before that? A card? Yeah, like a card, because you guessed wrong. Oh, no, I'll probably just battle it, or Perry will probably just battle it. Okay. Suit, your, suit yourself, buddy. <laughs> suit yourself, like a card. Like a card, yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. I approve. Oh my god. Wait, what? What clock do I expose? 
The undefended oh, one on the bottom right. The first one, it was the extortion. Ooh. Oh. I, I can... If I battle it, though, I don't take a hit, right? Because it's undefended? Embedded agents, or no? Uh, yeah, you embedded would take, agents only you, trigger no, if there's would, a throw there, right? No, you would take the embedded agents hit. I deal an extra hit, yeah. Glug. Glug. Well, you should guess mm. it and not guess extortion. Oh, man. Maybe I should guess it and not guess extortion. No, I, I'm i being an idiot. I shouldn't play too wet and wild yet. Keep in mind that I'm muted right now. Uh, Christian has what? a fox ambush from me. Well, it's nice to see that Perry is still Perry. Yeah, he doesn't really change. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Perry just laughed out there and Discord did not pick up any of it. I, I did himself. laugh. No, I don't know what it is about my Discord. It really does not like hearing me laugh. You probably have one of those like fancy noise filter settings on, and it thinks it's like someone else. I, you know, I think you're right, but I try to turn it off. It's just, it's always convinced I'm not me when I laugh. I don't know why. Maybe it knows something that you don't. Maybe. My ingenuine laughter is... It won't stand for it. Okay, I gotta be real careful here. I click the barrels and not the mall. No. Oh. What did you use that ambush for? Did you already spend it? To recruit uh, or something? I think I gave it to somebody for something. For Whatever. outrage, maybe? Yeah. Man. No, because it's in the discard it's in the discard file. I don't know. It was a raid call, so I got the guy, as you see. Yeah. Yeah. Mutually beneficial. Your biggest ploy yet. Um, One of the best ones that I come up with. I yeah, think. I could respect it. I could respect it. Um, now I have the chance to expose a plot, though. I'm not gonna do that. You should. Or you should not you guess extortion. Do it. <laughs> I should and I should not guess extortion. All right, hold on. Let me Just think about you. it. Now you have a 33 percent chance. Let me think about it. You know that Christian hates lying too, so it's probably not. Yeah, he doesn't lie ever. So. Genuinely, I don't know that he's ever lied while we're playing Root. I'll ask him, like, what card it was he drew, and he'll just tell me. I actually, like, I just don't because it makes people, like, second-guess things more, you know what I mean? <laughs> it does. That's good. What a good player. And then you're gonna start lying, and we're always gonna believe you. I'm saving it up for when it really matters. Yeah. Well, he's got two buildings now. This is when it matters. He's gonna hit us with a bombshell lie someday. And we're gonna get like never, destroyed by it. Never He's that. gonna hit hit you with a bomb in just a few moments. Robbie, it's okay if you do. I'm just yeah. telling you now. Yeah, I would still respect. I, I would still respect you. Well, you know, I gotta okay, explore that's good. this ruin first. I, I don't know. Where where are the ruins? Like I don't see them. Uh, they are. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they're like, like a the gray actual squares. physical thing, but they're not an icon. Oh, because you're zoomed in. Yeah. They're like a gray square in the zoomed out thing. I see. You know, they look like the ruins of the board game. That they do. Yeah, but the... Oh, yeah, when you're fully out, they kind of do. No, they exactly do. I'm pretty sure it's just like a, <laughs> they scanned the piece and put it in the yep. game. When you're zoomed in, actually, it's like just a chest. That's yeah, it's weird. like a... It was hard to say. Yeah, it's like where they keep the secret <laughs> ruinous treasure. I was using the marshal to go guess that plot. Oh, wait a Have minute. I can't guys... even do this anymore. Hold on. I gotta undo my whole turn. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. Somebody get the turn timer on this guy. I know. I know. It's real cold. Hold on. Hold on. Goodbye. Have you guys ever played Final Fantasy? I know Cole hasn't, but... Which ones? Any of them. Have you ever played a Final Fantasy game? I've played 14. Is that like the MMO one? Yes. Yeah. My friends have played that, I haven't though. Does it still have the same thing where it's like turn-based battling, but it's like yeah. time-based, so you have to... 
I do know what you're talking about. I did also play Final Fantasy like three or something. Is Final Fantasy 14 like that? No. To be clear, well, when Robbie says he has played Final Fantasy 14, he means he has played a lot of Final Fantasy 14. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, please. Robbie, how much Final Fantasy 14 have you played? I don't know, like 3,000? I'm no checking his way. Steam account right now. There's no shot. 3,000? I played on Steam. Oh, okay. I'm free. Yeah, because that's his own client, right? Yeah. Is that legit though? Like actually 3,000 do you think? I don't see why not. I lived with him for a year, that seems reasonable. I think the only game that I've anywhere near that much time on is Minecraft. Also Minecraft. Alright Cole, what's going on here? Uh, uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. That's serious did by I the miss, way. Did I miss something vital? No. no, I'm not. I just moved three moles into his clearing. You stop revealing. He's recruited the Earl of Stone. Items, oh shit! You guys have a problem with my boy, the Earl of Stone? All right, Robbie, here's your present. I kind of do have a problem with the Earl of Stone. I won't lie. Earl Stone sounds like a country singer. Perry and I were talking about this the other day. They add a fourth. Duchy Lord, and his title is the Lord of Sand. What does he do? Now, before you answer, you may be curious why we came up with the name Lord of Sand. It wasn't just we were like spitballing ideas about Root. We were playing Rocket League, and Cole designed a stupid fucking car covered in Moai heads. <laughs> it is not stupid. I didn't call it the Lord of Sand. The Moai decal thing says Lord of Sand on the side, and it's hilarious. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. I forgot about that. It's like two Moai heads on one side, and on the other side, it says Lord of Sand in the most hilarious scrawl you'll ever see. It's so good. And then. And you know that, like, the emoji with the stone face? That is his antenna that bobs around. It bobs around a lot. And I believe you would do that, Robbie. I would do that in a heartbeat. Holy shit, Perry. I really have no idea what happened. Perry, you are clairvoyant. Oh, he I thought he my was guy. Gonna, I thought he was gonna at least kill it, but his sword is damaged. His sword is Holy damaged. shit. That's the wrong item. Oh man, Perry, you were so right, dude. Wait, what was I right about? When you were like, Christian and Robbie are gonna be ops. They're gonna be... Uh -oh. They're gonna hate each other's guts from day one. I did say that, yeah. yeah. Robbie, you it was a that. joke, to be clear, but then you did do. Okay, never mind. He just got seven points. Never mind. No, no, it was I didn't. It was I don't perfectly. Know what you're talking about, <laughs> it was but. perfectly justified, Robbie. Thank you so much. Welcome. You just did us all such a great service. Oh, Wait, dude. who did you just take a card from? I took one from Robbie. Open the logs, ah, uh, Robbie. You mean I have no plots, Poe, because it's the guys that... Yeah. yeah. Womp womp. All according to plan. No plots, I can't. <laughs> I might go... Dominance this game, I'm thinking. Yeah? Yeah. That would be my end goal. That seems reasonable. You know, me and Robbie played in a game where we both lost the Crow Dominance. It was the game I have ever played. My most shameful moment as a root player. Do you remember what faction you were? Uh, no. I do remember that Nick was the Harrier and really didn't want to attack the Crows on his turn. Even though he was the one who had the most to lose, I think. If memory serves. The most to lose, like he was winning in the best position. Yeah. Okay. And we tried to convince him, and he's just like, nah. And then the crows won with and then, dominance. And then Jack won on crows. And for that, you never forgave him. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason I haven't what? talked to Nick in all these years. You know what I never forgave him for? I saw him one time, and I was like, hey, Nick. And he's like, oh, hi. You're Cole's friend. No way. Yeah. That is such a Nick thing to do. 
Oh man, that is really funny. Yeah, we never found uh, any other people to play Rivals with. Those were the days. That was so fun. And it's such a good game. <laughs> it's such a good game, though. What's your opinion on the new Rivals? Yeah, yeah. it's it's all right. I OG think OG Rivals is so much better. I think like it looks like a good game mechanics wise. I just don't really love the look of it. Um, yeah, and I think like, I had something unique with Rivals 1 that yeah. I just don't have anymore. Yeah, 2D was kind of what, like, the pixel art kind of made it special. Yeah. The art is way better in 1, for sure. Yeah. I will definitely grant you that. But Rivals 2 adds shields. Like, the whole... Get, get them out of there. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. I just looked up at my OBS, and this thing does not have a great frame rate, so I hope this isn't a completely unusable recording. I'm sure it's fine. Well, uh, there's not too much going on on the screen. It yeah. have a great frame rate. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, the only reason I even started uh, a, U like, a YouTube channel in the first place. Because, like, I was like, oh, man, this is cool. And then... It also happens to be like the only thing my computer can record without like combusting. <laughs> I did have to turn the graphical settings all the way down though, and like the frame rate of my OBS capture down um, for it to even work. So. I can't tell if you're trolling right now or not. No, I'm dead serious. The Lenovo ThinkPad with built-in graphics card is not a particularly powerful machine. Oh god. NASA uses those on the space shuttle, right? I hope <laughs> I hope not, man. <laughs> Damn it, does NASA use Lenovo ThinkPads on their shuttles? This is probably not. Only on the ISS, they have their own operating system. That's based. That is pretty cool. Yeah, in case you didn't know, my brother works for NASA. NASA. That's also cool. Cool. Wait, Jimmy? Yeah. Oh, Jimmy's Wait. in Pittsburgh with you right now? No, I'm in New Jersey right now. Oh! What? For how long? Uh, only a couple more days. I was here for graduation and just haven't left yet. Oh, you did say that and I forgot. <laughs> Damn. Pole is nothing like an elephant. Oh well. <laughs> um, now Perry, what's the meaning of that? What do you mean? Well, I wanted to go, you know, deal with some of these plots, but now I got your freaking pesky I, ass. I, I can't even revolt there. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Fox and Fox, look at that. Never mind. Carry on. Okay. Glad we're Carry on. Hold on. I can I help gotta you send revolt a, there if you send a want. Chat message. Candy bar. That's okay. Rob. Alright. So... Never mind. I'll just deal with these plots the old-fashioned way. This, uh, since I'm playing on my phone with my voice on my computer, I just have it open to the general chat on Discord, and I've got to really enjoy... He really likes hyping up arcs. This better be the game of all time. It's got little ships. Exploding Boarhead. Little ships that you knock over and put on their sides. Well, yeah, that's, that's what why. really sold it, so you can knock them over. Yeah. <laughs> that's why he's selling it so much, dude. <laughs> I'm serious. One All of right. these days, they should make, like, an omnidirectional pawn. So, like, no matter what way it's facing, it's always, like, facing up. That makes sense. That's a it sphere. Doesn't. No, I'm saying they should make one. It's a sphere. They have the... I'm really not understanding at all. You don't understand Sphere Pawn? It would roll everywhere, that would be useless. <laughs> would tell, what do you mean? It's omnidirectional, it's exactly what you want. No, I'm picking like a cube, baby. 
Which um, way is up, though? Like a triangle, any, away from the board. Any and all. Well, yeah, if it's omnidirectional, it doesn't matter. Every way can be up. This guy's never heard of omnidirectional. Omnidirectional? I thought, the next big thing. I thought omnidirectional actually just meant eight directions. Eight? Yeah, like north, south, east, and west, and then the ones between them. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why did you pick eight? Down. Oh wait, hold on. That was I'm not holding good. on. Yeah, you should. You should. Buddy. This next move, this one's gonna knock your socks off. Well, hold on, it is. Okay. Um, never mind. Okay. Well, yeah. Consider my socks on. All right, you guys can all calm down. Thanks. My socks feel very attached right now. Yeah. <sighs> well, I wanted to get both of these plots, but if I but do that, I can't sway. Oh no, I can't sway a lord, but I don't care about that this turn. Yeah. Do you, do you guys... My... I really have taken issue with how bad my feet smell, and I don't really know what to do about it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. Like, I don't know you. I don't know that. Yeah. Sorry. It's one thing when I'm in the comfort of my own home, but I'll get a new pair of shoes, and a week later, they're like fucking marshlands of stench. Like, uh, I'll put my ankle on my knee at work with shoes on, and I'll, like, I'll reek. I, I gotta keep them down and out so that they're not too close to anybody's noses. I'm sorry to hear and that. And it happens immediately. I don't know what to do. That sounds rough. I'm not gonna lie. That's all? No advice? Uh... You actually... Could you come out here and smell my shoes? No. I don't know if you're if you're grasping the ground. No. No. I do not want to smell your shoes. Sorry. You can do the sneakers or the loafers. Either uh, you, one. You make it a choice. <laughs> Both even would be. I appreciate ideal. the flexibility and you know sort of giving me a menu of options to peruse, but I think I have to pass on all of the above. <laughs> you think well, like, what am I gonna do? I don't know. You Google think, like, it. One foot is worse than the other. Like, um, like, that's. That. That's a good question. For cold. I, Let's see, he smells them. But. I'm not smelling them. I haven't noticed. I'll have to wait for Cole's expert opinion. But I would. I. He's gonna place the torch there. I think my left might be a little worse. Whichever one smells worse, just put it in timeout for a while, and that should fix it. Well, the other one's bad too. So. But yeah, I've tried Googling it and it's like, oh, put fucking baking soda on your shoes. Like, And did you? Yeah. Well, you're beyond saving then. <laughs> There's no redemption for you. I, and like with my sneakers, you know, I can try putting them through the wash and that helps, but it just comes back in like three days. And then... So sorry? So your feet are definitely the source of the problem then. Well, here's the thing, though. If I, like, take a shower, and then I just walk around barefoot, it doesn't matter if I don't shower for, like, four or five, ten days. My feet won't smell that bad as they do after, like, a work day in my shoes. Uh, you just probably have, like, really hot socks. You're sweating a lot. I do. I have a condition that chronically makes my feet and palms sweat profusely at almost all times. You have hyperthyroidism? Uh, I don't know that I have hyperthyroidism because I think that comes with a litany of different effects. Uh, hyperhidrosis is the term that I'm most familiar with. Yeah. The rest of me isn't great either, but the hands and feet are really they're the most appalling. I sweat a lot too, and I just 
I'm always wearing like shorts and the lightest shirt possible, even if it's like February. That's the only the only thing I figured out really. See. They have like prescription strength deodorant you can get, but that's like such I've a tried thing, it. Like, your yeah. whole body doesn't doesn't do anything. No, I you can't. You know, I. Oh gosh, you guys ever been on WikiHell? Uh, um, adjacently. What's adjacently? Uh, a podcast that I used to frequently oh. listen to likes to make fun of them a lot. Okay, I so totally forgot it. about that. Yeah, way Are before. My satchel, do I lose the storage space? Yeah, yeah, you do. Only at the end of your turn, though. If well, I guess you don't have any way to refresh it during your turn. I totally forgot that Boom Bam did that, but I before they did that. At some point in like 2020, I had ended up on the WikiHow for holding hands, and on that wiki page, it posits that if your hands are sweaty or clammy or whatnot, you should try putting deodorant on your palms. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that awesome that somebody said that? Well, dear viewers, I hope the last ten minutes of discussion have been helpful to at least one of you. Otherwise, <laughs> I sincerely apologize. One of these days, I want to make a super cut of you just saying shit, Perry. <laughs> Genuinely, I don't know if I could receive like a better gift than that. Yeah. One day. Uh oh, that would make me really happy. We'll just have to record a bunch more videos before you can really get the goods. Yeah. Well, we got all the live streams too. It's just like, do I really want to scrub through four hours of live stream? Yeah. Wow, this article is really informative. Yeah. Are you on the wiki how for holding hands? Oh, my, my hands are cold. <laughs> Sorry, was that- did you say- did you address that to me? Yeah. My, oh. my, hands, are, my hands are cold. Oh. Well, where are you right now? Don't actually say. But- I am literally right outside your door. You don't even know where I live anymore. Um, I- Yeah. And I- I just know some things. So we're not gonna have time to hang out before you leave, is what I'm hearing. I don't know when I'm going back, I haven't decided yet. This is so sad. This is probably so sad. What do you mean this is so sad? <laughs> he said he doesn't know when he's going well, back. Well, okay, but... That makes it sound like you do not actually No, he know. said he's only gonna stay for a couple more days, so I assume that he's deciding between like two to four days, and I'm going to visit my girlfriend this weekend, so I won't be here oh, from yeah. Friday afternoon until Sunday. I only have two warriors, Come along. and I can't undo that one. Brutal. You can't undo it? No. Nah. That's whack. I guess because I showed you guys my card. Yeah, Robbie, you could come along, or alternatively, we could hang out tomorrow if you want, and you don't have any plans. And alternatively, alternatively, uh, you could stay until next week. <laughs> I've already been here for two weeks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just, I never tell my boss when I'm going anywhere, but I just work from home and don't tell anyone. Oh, so you can just stay forever. I mean, pretty much, but there's like, boxes of ramen sitting outside my apartment. Oh, no. Why? Why? Because I, I have sh a regular shipments of, uh, specialty ramen from California. <laughs> no way. <laughs> really? Yeah. That Why are you getting specialty Robin. That is the most Robbie thing I've ever heard. No, dude, I get it. After going to Japan and having ramen there and comparing it to ramen here, I get it. Like just regular ramen here, I get it. Now I wouldn't do that personally, but I can understand the desire to. I feel validated. Yeah. You should. You should. You should. I'm guessing my next move should be killing as many crows as humanly possible. Whoa, whoa, I've whoa, whoa, whoa. Crows. Holes gonna get way more. No, most are pretty weak, honestly. Yeah. That's what they say in the big root circles. Yeah, well, you know... It's not our experience, though. As long as you count the crows and then eventually take out their leader, Mr. Jones, 
they're not really a problem. So just do that. The only maybe Counting Crow song that I can think of is Mr. Jones. The one. See, we've had this conversation before, and I still don't know what Mr. Jones is. <laughs> it's one of their most popular songs. Uh, the only one that I can maybe think of is the one where they say, I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. Oh, I thought you were going to say where they say they paved paradise and put up a parking lot. No, uh, is that Mr. Jones? No, that's a different song, and I remember one time looking up the song to see what the actual title was, because I didn't know. It's not anything to do with Paradise or a parking lot, if I remember correctly. Damn it, now I need to do it again. So It also might not even be by them. So, hold on. Oh, it is by them. It's called Big Yellow Taxi. Yes. I knew it. I knew it was by them the whole time. Didn't have any doubts. <laughs> yeah, that's a good song. And so is Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, just the way you do. Is that how that goes? That was a different song. Now, what? why can't I think of the name of the song? I know <laughs> what it is, though. Move along. Is it just called Move Along? It might be. You yeah. know how songs are. Move along, move along, just to make it through. Move along. I gotta be careful not to sing too well or I'll get my channel copyright struck. I don't think you need to concern yourself with that. I do. Maybe you need to I don't remember how to play this game. What are you talking about, Perry? Yeah. You've played this game uh, so much. I I'm sitting here like... Do I do I mobilize? Do I train? Do you can, I? You can. Oh, you're not react? confused about what steps you have in your turn because you can view those on your board. Yeah, yeah, no, I I know what I can do. I just what I should do is, is lost upon me. Hmm. I see. You should consider killing some moles. Eh. I should consider exposing a plot. Yeah, that you should do, yep. I would agree. I don't think I can get that over there, though. What? You're right next to it. Oh, you got martial law, though. <laughs> and one supporter. Yeah, okay, oh, well, I man. guess that answers what I should do. Oh, I almost the craft. Oh, he's got something to craft? Interesting. Not anymore. <laughs> Ouch. It could be literally any card in the game with the, <laughs> with what you have. Okay, not literally every card. You only have one mouse plot and one rabbit plot. But favor of the foxes and the hammer, you could craft in the same turn. That's true. Alright, my turn is completed. Thanks. It was a good turn, Barry. Thank you. I tried my best on it. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold the phone. I just realized that Christian's name is The Ugly. It is. Like, from the good, the bad, the ugly. Is that... Like... Some kind of movie? Brother, what? You never seen that? Yeah, I, it is a movie. I, I am not a big movie. I've yet. certainly heard that phrase. I did not know what its origin was. I don't know. It's a movie called The Good Bad Yeah. Is it's it like about a western. Cowboys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the one of them's called the good. One of them's called the bad. One of them's called the ugly. Is it really originating from that movie? Are you fucking with? Oh, I'm sure the like phrase was like a thing before the. Yeah, like, I, I don't people know. People would ask, like, how to go, like, good, bad, ugly. 
Right. Like, it's like worse than bad. But right. I think most people, when they, they hear it, they're like, oh, the movie. I don't know if that was a phrase before that. that kind of a weird thing, you know? I don't know how weird it is. It's pretty normal. Yeah, it seems pretty normal. You're the Judy weird Dench one, I think. Says trigger warnings ruin viewer experience. What? I get a fact check on that. Uh, I don't know who Judy Dench is, but that is an article that popped up on my homepage when I went to look up origin of phrase the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm gonna oh. guess that Judy Dench is an actress that appears in that film. Oh, I hadn't looked that up yet. That was like on the. Oh. When you hit. Never mind. On Microsoft Edge, you know how it is. I don't. I don't know how it is, man. That sounds like the Wild West. The phrase, the good, the based. Oh. Nope. Hold on. Are you on Urban Dictionary now? The phrase, the good, the bad, and the ugly, had its origins in the iconic Sergio Leone spaghetti western film of the same name released in 1966. The Good, also known as The Man With No Name, is played by Clint Eastwood, who represents the hero, a tough and enigmatic character who operates by his own code of justice. Yeah. Now the we're Bad, talking. played by Lee Van Cleef, is also known as Angel Eyes. He is a cold-blooded killer, cunning and ruthless. Yeah. The ugly is the character Tuco, portrayed by Eli Wallach. Neither purely good nor entirely bad. He's a crook, a likable rogue, and comic relief. Yeah. Okay. Now let me look up Eli Wallach to see how ugly he is. I've never seen this movie. By the way. You know what? Did you just get three points from? Hmm? Pretty ugly. Per market on the map. One no, point I, per market. No, I got three points for swaying it. Oh, okay. I can get three points for yeah, I can't I can't activate him until next turn, anyway. I didn't know you got points for swaying people. Oh yeah. That's like their <laughs> their main thing. You get one for a squire, two for a noble, and three for a lord. Are we gonna play the moles sometime, you know? Yeah, well you know, we got a whole year and change. To yeah do that. Cole, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a picture. Do you think I can get this on a splash screen when we're talking about Eli Wallach? Uh yes. Alright, thank you. Yeah, just you know. Put it in Discord, I guess. Yeah, it's in there. Okay. I mean, if we're calling him the ugly, this one might be better. That one is may I admit. Okay. Attractive. I'm sorry. Is this how he looked when he was in the movie? No. No. Okay. <laughs> in the movie in the movie he was downright hot. It's really well, can we see what he looked like in the movie? Oh, fine. Oh. Christian's got it? Yeah. He's like yeah. unkempt, but he's not like ugly. Yeah, he's not ugly. No. This guy moves and shakes me. Man, it's yeah. A picture where he's old, I don't think, is, is doing this. I don't know, Christian, Christian's like the world's preeminent vampire expert now i am now after my one course so he could tell us maybe because he's he's kind of given me a vampire sort of aura in that second picture with hate, the glasses i hate to say it with the whole thing i don't know what it is <laughs> yeah it's the aquiline nose as they say aquiline oh. aquiline yeah. aquiline what does that mean i don't know i just know it's what that like an like. like an eagle Oh, okay. Yeah, like a long, long nose. Now, yeah, Robbie, broad... I knew you were going to do that, but I had faith in you not to. And can I say, I'm a little disappointed. There's too Robbie, much I support you. I was going to hit you, and then I was like, nah, he wouldn't. I had to. This is so okay. sad. 
This is so sad, Robbie. Why why would you do this to me? Alright, so now the question is which one do I keep? Mm, probably return you. Goodbye. Earl of Stone. Sorry, Perry. I had to be done. Why am I angry? Don't worry about it. Oh okay. yeah, Christian, kill that uh rabbit sympathy because that uh fox that robbie burned is now an impassable choke point oh word yeah i could look into that don't don't go tell this guy Ooh, kill the kill the sympathy he's a uh, you know he's a uh, you know he's got a <laughs> spread he's got 16 points what's he need the sympathy for for you, to not, for, you to not, for you to not, for you to not, holy shit, he just cornered the boot market. Points. <laughs> What's the for? Oh my god, he's got 19 he's points. What's the sympathy for? <laughs> uh, Robbie, you know I had a sword in my hand that I was gonna craft you too, and now I can't. Eli Wallach, Crazy. come and rescue me. Uh, well, there's only one thing left for you to do. Dominance? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about it after Perry's turn. <laughs> oh, silly. 22, huh? Alright, guys, we can't let him flip anymore. No more flipping. What the flip? No more plots, actually, now that I think about it, because he can craft too many cards. We have to kill every pro on the board, right? Yeah, so let's just not let him. I think it would be in our uh, best no, interest no, no. to not let him have uh, plots or warriors I'm, or anything. I don't. Where are you guys getting this from? I don't, I don't understand. You know. He's devious. He's devious. Well, I, I don't think I've ever heard that sound effect before. Paul Whirly once said. The games aren't meant to be fun or fair. <laughs> I'm sorry, was there going to be a second part to that? No. Okay, that's also just not a thing he said. Why did he say that? He didn't. He said that because the... Why did he say that? He didn't say it. He said that because, in his opinion... Games aren't about having fun or being fair. You sound like you have to hit a word limit right now. That was all. Okay. Yeah, he didn't say that. What he actually said, and Perry loves to say this fake quote because he made it up, and then we realized it wasn't real. Uh, he said, we make good games, not fun games. Mm. I could see him saying something like that, yeah. He yeah. said both, yeah, at different times. Nope. No, don't think so. I actually think there was a screenshot that Nebuchadnezzar made that said games aren't meant to be fun or fair and attributed it to Cole Worley, but he likes to do memes. Now, I actually made that exact same thing? Are you sure you're not thinking of me? Maybe. <laughs> and you, of course, made it because you made it up. No, I made it to honor Dr. Worley and all mm. of his wisdom. Okay. You should have asked him at RootCon. We might never get the chance to meet him again. Oh, I'm sure we will. You're sure? Yeah. He lives in Minnesota. You should invite him over next year, Cole. Oh, yeah. I'll send him uh, an invitation to the next tournament I have. I'm sure he'd love to show up. I'll just make it an ARCS tournament, and then he won't be able to resist, I think. I'm at like, our house, but... I'm getting well, pretty hyped for ARCS. We could host the tournament at our house. It's pretty big now. That yeah. is actually true. Now, whether or not our three other roommates would be comfortable with that, I can't say. Logan and Dio would probably be fine, but I don't know. Ricky's a wild, wild card. card, yeah. 
Yeah. I've always said that about him. You know, I was gonna retreat my moles to the burrow on the turn after Robbie cleared all the ruins, and then I forgot. And now I don't have any moles. So I'm sad about that. Well, you have Perry to thank for that one. How? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. I won't worry about it. Yeah, you can thank me for a lot of things, I'd say. I wouldn't. Electricity, the internet. True. They call and me true. the electrician. I'm not thankful for either of those things, though. You don't like the internet? No, it's a curse. Okay. I can see that's like a Faustian bargain of sorts. Well, yeah. <laughs> and Robbie just burned my freaking whole city of moles to the ground. Oof. Wouldn't have happened if we didn't have internet. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Undeniable, yeah. And if we were playing the physical version, not over the internet, I could, like, you know, really stare into his eyes and intimidate him into not doing it, I think. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Actually, I know it for a fact. <laughs> <laughs> you, you underestimate my willpower. Oh, uh, your delivery is impeccable, Robbie. <laughs> I am not a delivery driver. That's true, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they call me the chain smoker. No, they don't. Why? You may be wondering why do they call him the chain smoker. I am wondering. They don't call him the chain smoker, guys. Don't fall for it. They call me the chain smoker. Because, yeah, thank you, Robbie. I'm glad you asked. They call me the chain smoker because all I do is smoke my opposition. Great. That's a good one. You heard that one in school, though. What? 100% one of the kids in your class said that. <laughs> no, that is, that is original. Not original. <laughs> it is original. This is undeniable. I originally it's came undeniable to my as the chain it's smoker undeniable. after I had taken my final in my history of math course, which I smoked for reference. I did need to reference that, so thank you. Yeah, so you know. That's what they call the chain smoker. Oh, I know. My chain smoking has since extended past the realm of my scholastic endeavors and into my ruthless gameplay. Well, I just have to ask, is it is it my job to take care of this flipped claw? Yes. Uh, you don't have to do anything about it. Yeah, it's a it's a good question. I could do it. Hold on. You're right there, just give him the business. Hold the phone. Robbie? Well, you only have one sword, so... I have two crossbows. That's true. Done. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Totally. Yeah, do that then. Thanks. Actually, it's, uh, it's your fault. I think it's Cole's job, like, other on the Well, Robbie, what you should really do is enter a coalition with me. And then we can rule the galaxy together. It's... Kind of seemed like my best shot right now. That's what I'm saying. Can the Vag move back into the Scorched Clearing after having mm, Scorched it? No. Once once you move out, you cannot go back in. Like what they say about what goes out. Must Sorry? Come. What goes out must come in. Okay. Now hold on, Robbie. We can talk about this. Here we go. In the immortal words of Rick. There's just Cri no way Christian I get seven points on One million turn. percent wins if he flips the plot. Just <laughs> no, so we're, no, so no, we're no. clear. It's not true. It's so true. Paul just made that up. Now, Robbie, don't forget to initiate the coalition before you leave daylight. Do not coalition with Cole. 
coalition? Oh what? You just coalitioned? It's, the, it's his best move. This is honestly unbelievable. I can't believe we're with some. But Perry, it doesn't matter. Maybe. It doesn't matter what you do if it's not recorded on a spreadsheet somewhere, like you said. So no, I I agree. I agree. My entire life is dictated by the spreadsheet. However, yeah, I am still surprised to see a coalition come out. One time, Perry got pulled over for a speeding violation, and he asked the police officer if they were going to put it in a spreadsheet. And when he said no, he tried to drive away, and then got arrested. And the thing they arrested me for, it wasn't actually the insubordination, it was the using Excel while driving. Yep. Really oh, I think he wins anyway. Good bad. game. <laughs> I don't win right now. Hmm. Unless you have a really good card that I get you. Yeah. I do. That's the problem. You don't. This card sucks. I don't know what you took. <laughs> Fox folks deal. Ah, uh, yeah, you. But can't you grab can't it. have it. Oh man, that's messed up. Now I'm really glad you didn't swap wheat with me. For no reason. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Now, Robbie, I, I hate to say it, but I think now that Christian crafted coins, we don't have a win condition anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, did you need to craft the coins? I have failed you. Yes, I did. You guys weren't like secret chatting about this coalition, were you? No! We have I said, hey, you should coalition with me, and then he was like, yeah. <laughs> I purposely only scored one point so that he could coalition with me. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Because I thought by... it would be fun. You thought he just did it out of nowhere? <laughs> I really don't remember hearing that. That anymore. is crazy. <laughs> oh, I got really distracted. You got like so up in arms about it, I thought you were just doing a bit. Uh, I also do yeah. know how to say the word coalition. It is just that it's with coal. Yeah. Oh, I don't... yeah, we figured. Well, you know, there might be people out there judging me right now. Which is my greatest fear, should they input their feelings on a spreadsheet. Yeah. Always the worst. I think I will actually put my feelings in a spreadsheet about this game, just, you know, to let you know. Yeah. I mean business. My I'm therapist actually... is always like, when's the last time you tabulated your feelings, you know? I'm really starting to think that everything <laughs> is just like a spreadsheet now. Like if you really think about it. You guys didn't like that one? I actually really liked it. I just don't think my laugh got picked up. Oh on my gosh. Discord. It didn't. It was just dead silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was really good. <laughs> it's even better because, like, out of context, it would sound like I was, like, opening up to you guys and you just all stonewalled me. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite Confederate general. Stonewall Jackson. How many more yeah. turns do you think are left here? Like, does Perry just win on this turn? I thought that was going to be the last turn, to be completely honest with you, so I, okay. I guess I have no idea. It could go on forever. How many spores does Perry have? Two. Two? Uh, no shot, right? It depends if he's able to revolt. Okay. It does? Yeah. Why? Don't worry about it. Oh, because then I could, like, move over there. I understand.
really considering this. You'll have to think about it. Yeah, Robbie, we're cooked. I can't believe you baited me. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I don't think you would have won on your own. So, there's there's that at least. You can take solace in that. Um, yeah, you're right. Solace and pride, my friend. Solace and pride. <laughs> Where can I expose a plot? Oh. You gotta do you it. You gotta guess it, man. You yeah, gotta guess I do. it. For sure. I mean, you literally actually have to guess it. Have sure, to guess. Guess. Have Let's to guess. see, there's a raid, an extortion, a snare. Well, he doesn't actually have to guess, thankfully. Oh, wait. How many boosts does Robbie have? You could, you could have also make Cole do it. No, no. Yeah, he doesn't, because Rob, Robbie can slip into the forest and then move into the fox base and then move into the crow clearing to get around the thing. The problem is, he does only have one sword still, so he still can't kill it, I just realized. So Perry would have to attack it too, if he fails to guess. I will not be uh, doing anything about it, to be clear. I was just completely content to punt the game. Well, I'm also in last place, so... Yeah, that's fair. I need Perry to do it. He's gonna guess again. Proclaim! Yeah, this Ooh. is the great part about crows. If you can just guess four times, you always remove the plot. Is one card. Uh, well, Robbie can do the rest of the guesses, I assume. I hope. I pray. Yeah, that, that's right. I'm just kidding. Uh, Damn it! I'll probably do it point. so that I can get a point, actually. Oh, you know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter at all. I My whole plan was based around a card that Christian took from me. I forgot he took it. Yeah, it's it's legitimately Box over. Robbie. Do. Yeah, it's legitimately over. The coins and the yeah. sword being gone, we're cooked. I'll take Swans the exposure. Might be the greatest card ever. I'll though. take the exposure. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. I'm trying to count like how many points I can get. Let's think. Let's think. I can get expose plus. There's no way I can get 12. I don't even know why I'm counting. There's just no way. With the sword, maybe. But without it, nah. This guy's moving. Moving I am. Got places to be, man. Plus four. Waiting for opponent to pass the turn. Turn fast. All right. So I have to guess bomb, and I have to guess snare to expose. Mm -hmm. That'll get me one yep. point. That's nineteen. Then I can build twice with a daylight action. And with four mole, score Baron for two, 21, craft a bag at the end of my turn, 22, then I can battle one, two, not enough times. It's not even close. Is there a better angle? I don't think so because, well, I could sway a board for three with my remaining cards. You know, while you're thinking about that, let me pass you the information. The Italian name for the good, the bad, and the ugly is Il Buono, Il Bruto, Il Cattivo, which translates directly to the good, the ugly, the bad. Hmm. 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 
Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because the thing is, if I go around destroying all the sympathy, I won't have any cards to sway. That's the problem. Well, I guess if I pick one suit to go after, and just really get in there, I could do it. Like if I do mouse. Oh no, because I would have to use my mouse card to build. Oh no, I have the magic of formal. But okay, if I use a card to formal build a card to dig, and then that would be all the cards I could use for the turn if I want to sway a lord. Good, Fat, and the Ugly was the third installment in the Dollars Trilogy. The first two films being a fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more. That also means I need to guess this plot right that on is the first true. try. Those two are not as good. So I'm just going to guess it immediately. Obviously it's a bomb. Easy. Oh, uh, easy. Sure, sure. Easy money. And now... I think... The play. Okay, so I can kill the raid as well without proccing outrage, so let's keep that in mind. 11 points, I don't think is possible. But I'm certainly gonna try it. Hmm. A 3 3 against the Alliance base up there would get me 2 points, so let's keep that in mind as a desperation option as well. Let's see. I can get a building, a craft, that's two points, that's easy, and then after that I would have, uh, I would have two daylight actions to battle with, no I'd have one because I'd have to tunnel, and then I can use uh, the the move guy, Marshall, and then have four battles. But I don't think I have four battle targets if I do that. Oh, I do. Oh, but if I if I use if I do all those battles, I'll lose my cards and it won't be, matter at all. Well, if I keep the three fox cards to sway a noble, okay. So let's let's give up the rest of the cards. Sway with a noble with three fox cards. I can get two mouse. And a rabbit. Alright, hold on. I gotta think about this. Hold. Yeah, please hold. I would battle the sympathy in the top left. I would battle the raid. Hmm, but if I battle the raid first, then it, I lose rule in the... Wait. Yeah, he's got three rulers. So I would lose rule in the top clearing. And I won't be able to move out, which makes that not work, I don't think. Although, do I need to get there anyway? One, two... I don't think this matters. I'm just going to score as many points as I can. I don't think I can win anyway. I don't want to take all day to do this. Oh wait, but I need a tunnel too, so I can save the rate for later, for sure. Alright, so it'll be battle and tunnel with the daylight actions and then we'll figure out the rest after. Oh, formal is the next step. Okay, so battle here. Oh, you're battling me? Yeah. You should be thanking me. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, and then I'm gonna dig. see any reason not to move the maximum number of moles into this clearing. So that's what I'm going to do. Goodbye bag. Do you know. think you're going to find the action to kill that sympathy in the bottom right where those crows are? And you also have a mole? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh. Well, I could, but I'm going to not do that because I need to keep my fox card. Are you going to win? No. Oh, well just do that one, because I'm going to that one. Uh, no. What? You want to win? I'd like to have the best chance of winning if it gets back to me. Yeah, which would... 
which would require you stopping him from winning. Uh, yeah. So just just pop that sympathy. Uh, we'll down get there. Robbie to do it. He's in a coalition with him. Uh, you get Robbie to do it. He's in a coalition with. But him. also, uh, uh, if if that goes away, you guaranteed win on your turn. So we can't do that. Sorry. No, I don't have no sympathy left. You guaranteed win on your turn if that happens. Um, okay. I don't think so. No, definitely. Uh, well, Rob, you should just pop both those sympathy over there, then. The one in the crow, and both those clearings with the crows, if you count. Alright, so... One, two... Oh, I guess I should build this... Hold on. I guess I should build this building in the more defended clearing, shouldn't I? Well, actually, I'm about to move all my guys out of there, so maybe I shouldn't. Because I think... Hold on. I can build... I can... Okay, so I get two points from that, and then theoretically, the amount of points I would get after that is like five max. So yeah, I should be playing more defensive and praying that I somehow get another turn, even though I can't. There's a location in for a few dollars more called Agua Caliente. Hot water? You know what that means? Yes. I just Hot I water. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um Yeah, cuz if I if I kill any of this sympathy and I don't win, Perry's just going to win, I think. I mean, he probably just wins anyway, to be honest. This is a good screenshot. Thank you. I'm not clear on how there's any chance the crows don't win. Uh, don't worry about it. Me and Robbie will handle it. Me and, and by me Robbie, and Robbie, I mean just Robbie. Robbie and me. Look, you have 25 sympathy on the board. It, it me removing one is not gonna make any difference. There's only seven sympathy. You know what I mean. Guy. Well, three of them are protected, and. Of the four that are not, two are in clearings that post crows already. The others are not. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter because you would win anyway if that gets removed. Uh, do, 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 so I don't care either way. Um, trying to decide if going up there is better, but it probably isn't. So I don't actually know what I want to do with the rest of my actions now. I have a proposition. Nope. No, you don't. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Oh, I'll get rid of the raid, I guess. That'll actually be good because it will force his crow placements, and then he can't recruit into good clearings. So, let's do that. But if I had a bambush, or rambush, uh, we're about to find out if you do or not. Do, do, do. Um, yeah, I guess we're about to find out. Then Robbie will get it. So you should Max you should probably just save Robbie. it, because Robbie will get it anyway. Save it for I something more important. There. But now I get the point. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Tell him, There's Robbie. No each other. Hmm? Uh, Embedded no agents is only for face down. Sadly. Oh man. Yeah, I fear. That would make sense. All right, uh, and now I believe you have zero crows in your supply. Perfect. I think that's true, generally. Unless Robbie kills a bunch. I don't think he'll do that. He would never. All right, and then I think I'm good on the rest of my stuff. And I can skip the rest of my actions because I don't think they benefit me at all. 
Yeah. Yeah. This is a weird end game. Oh no. I forgot I don't have that third fox clearing anymore. It's a fucking smoking wreck. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Robbie, Harry. what have you done? Listen, if I knew I can't be sway the banker. The next, like minute we could have we could have worked something Yeah, out. we could have talked about this for sure, for sure. Wait, uh, you don't have the banker swayed? No, I was going to sway it this turn. Why did it just say banker on my screen? It didn't. You I swear, I swear it was it the did. captain, dude. Are you okay? Oh, that did say captain. <laughs> okay. I did, like, I said banker as it came on the screen, I think, so maybe you just tricked yourself. Robbie, I think, even though I don't have banker, you gotta just give me a bunch of cards. That's the best we can do. My friend Cole, unrelated to Cole of Culture Channel earlier today, sent me between seven and ten long text messages. About no, Robbie, you can't move out of the snare clearing to be, to be clear. So this will be your oh, final no. resting place. Okay. Yeah, you can only slip out of it. Sorry, I didn't want him to get stuck in there. Yeah. yeah I forgot the snare is a thing that exists. That's really rude. <laughs> Yeah. Several text messages about Will versus Shell. And then, when texting Jamie of Jamie's Root Channel, I Jamie's said, Root I Channel? Will... Sorry, Jamie of Cole's Root Channel. <laughs> Jamie would yeah. not have a Root Channel. Since our last video, Jamie has created her own competing Root Channel called Jamie's Root Channel. She does not post any Root content. Yeah, let's go uh, review Bomber after this. Dislike all our <laughs> videos. Yeah. That's a good idea. I only have one shot of this. Do not miss your chance to blow. Yeah, I'm done. Don't miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes what once in a lifetime. Is this... is this like a rap or something? But... Oh, Perry, man. It's Led Zeppelin, man. <laughs> yeah, it's Led Zeppelin. Oh. Remind me of that one by Eminem that the kids like. Why would you ask if it's a rap if you know exactly what it is? What? Why would you ask if it's a rap if you know exactly what it is? Is it... Is it the one by Eminem? Yes. Oh, I... Obviously. I did... I thought you were serious when you said it was Led Zeppelin. Oh... Uh. I don't... I don't actually know the words to that song. I just know that for an assignment, one kid copy pasted all of the lyrics and said it was his poem. Robbie, that was pretty clean. That was about all I got. <laughs> oh no, that was pretty clean, man. Now, unfortunately, I don't think it matters, but it was probably the best play. Yeah, I didn't I even think like about that, that when I said that. I don't have enough boots to go anywhere. Yeah. Everyone hates you. You're hostile with everyone except me, your best buds. Which is crazy <laughs> considering you like committed mold genocide a couple turns ago, but you like I am confused. Mold. Why is him attacking me a good move? So you can't move and organize. You can't do over there. Move and spread yeah. organize oh. thing. Making it a little harder for you at least. But I think Christian will probably just win. There's I, just three points in walleye tokens, right? Like yeah, I mean, I expected you to do this the last turn, but oh. you didn't, and so I was surpri pleasantly surprised. But yeah, you just need to kill three tokens. Now, let's see if you can, though. If I can't kill three tokens with five actions, it's generally... Oh, you that. have League of Butchers, Mice, that's right. See, you should have left those, those mice there. This is going to be your first game that you've ever won. And it doesn't count, so it doesn't go on the spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter at all, because it's not on the spreadsheet. <laughs> As we all know, nothing is consequential in life unless it goes on a spreadsheet somewhere. Fortunately, I do kind of have to shoot myself in the foot here. 
Yeah. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out there, make your own spreadsheets. This is your life. That's how a great search. Uh, it doesn't seem like. Why could I not make, exert? Can you use League of Adventurous Mice instead? Because once you go yeah. to evening, it'll I believe it'll prompt you, but just yeah, use okay. League of Adventurous Mice instead. I don't want to I don't want to say something wrong and then end up screwing you. You could, if you'd like. I don't like to mislead people unless they're you. Oh man, guys! One time we were playing a game, <laughs> oh, uh, and Perry was playing the rats, and he had an easy win lined up on his board, and he like talked through the whole win. And one of the things he needed to do to win was craft a sword for points. And then when he crafted the sword for points, he was like, Alright, so I craft Fox Folk Steel, and I said, Yup, and it goes in the horde. Three prowess, that's pretty good. And he went, Yup, goes in my horde. And then continued taking his turn for like 15 seconds before he realized <laughs> that he was supposed to score it for points. Oh, man. Oh, that would have been the best... <laughs> scam of the century if I pulled that off. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, I couldn't believe you that you went along with it. You were like, yup, and it goes to my horde. <laughs> oh, it was so hard not to burst out laughing immediately. Well, congratulations, Christian. Yeah, well done. Your That's first ever, ever win. win. This is huge. I'm curious what that makes my win rate if you do put it in. Like, can you just, like, change one to a one? Uh, well, I, we can just look at your current win rate and add one to the numerator and denominator. Right. How many games have you played with us? Like, five? Way more than that. Really? I think. I th yeah. Hold on. Let me get my phone out. We're I'll... talking about spreadsheet games. Yeah, this is, we're, this is uh, well, live yeah, spreadsheet okay. update right now. I, I might even put the spreadsheet on the screen. You guys are going to get an exclusive peek at this root game data spreadsheet. One day, oh, I want to make a video where we just talk about the spreadsheet. I'd love to. Um, Hold on. Christian, you only have three games on the sheet. Three games on the what? sheet. Yeah, so that's right. Five games total. I think you guys played two games before we brought the spreadsheet in. No shot. Wait, but Evan, Evan has five games. Well, Evan, Evan came to my house that one night to play with us. And then there was that one time that he played uh, with us and Rick, I believe, and Christian couldn't come. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then Ethan game didn't count. I think Evan was sick one week, and that didn't count. Well, I think Evan then, was yeah. sick and we just didn't play. So, if that's oh, yeah, what we mean by it didn't on. count, then... <laughs> we played a... Well, it wasn't on a spreadsheet. Bowl, whatever the town one is with the potions. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think you can substitute the Quacks of Quedlinburg in for a root game on the root spreadsheet. I think it should count. I think it should count even though Rick won. Uh, quack. So that would make your win rate 25%, exactly. 25% as far as spreadsheet games go. Which would be, I, I just closed it, definitely better than Rick's though. I don't have to open it up to check. Oh yeah. That's all that matters. And since Rick's never been on this channel before, he can't even defend himself, which makes it so much better. Maybe that's the strategy. Maybe we have to insult him enough on here that he feels the need to come on here and defend himself by playing a game no and speaking directly to the audience. For those of you out there, a sneak peek at our current win rate as the sheet stands. Uh, Coles is at a sleek 37.84%. I've been doing my best to catch up at 29.73%. Jamie's kind of fallen off at 15.15%. Rick sits at a poor, disappointing, measly 13.89%. <laughs> Evan, having only played five games, is in the lead at 40%. And Christian, though having just won our online game, is unfortunately reduced to 0% on the spreadsheet. I think that one... Uh, that wasn't moles. Keepers of Iron game should count as half a win. That's true. I'll have to grant yeah, I got you that. Yeah, 50% chance. Yeah, I'll have to grant you that. That's how it works. Um, I, that's crazy that Jamie's 15% is like, she just fell off a little bit, and Rick's is paltry and disappointing at like, barely <laughs> less than 1% less. Yeah, dude, Jamie, when we first started streaming tabletop games, uh, Jamie went on a tear and won the first three that we ever streamed, and then I don't think she's won since. Which might have something to do with why she doesn't really like Root anymore. 
<laughs> yeah, she hasn't won a game of Root since game... <laughs> It looks like 18. 18 on this timeline, and we are now on game 37. 37. So it's been a while. To be fair, oh, man. she wasn't in every single one of those games because... Uh, she was in most of them, though. Yeah, let's actually see when her last game was. March 3rd, 2023 was her last win. Jamie's last game looks like it was... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Game 32, in which she played her beloved Woodland Alliance. And that was... December 3rd, 2023. We really gotta pick it up. Yeah, I know. I we've been doing Oath lately. But... Yeah, I know, I know. And Arx is coming uh, too. I wanna so. play Oath again. Oh yeah, <laughs> if there's like any psychopaths out here still listening to this, let us know if you yeah. want us to like stream some Arx sometime. Because I want to do that, I think. I'm sure anybody who's not only a fan of your channel and Root, but a fan enough to have listened to us blabber for the last several minutes without any gameplay, is more than likely going to be very excited with the prospect of seeing us fools play a new leader game. Alright, you're right, sorry. If, if you fit those criteria and your name isn't Ganix then let us know, because I'm just going to assume Ganix is an enthusiastic yes. Love you, Ganix. Man, guys, the crow stopped moving and it's freaking me out. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he was just really still for a long time. <laughs> that was really... He did not move or blink at all for a really long time. That was... I wonder if they have, like, you know... A random event like trigger every couple of frames to see what action they're gonna do next and it just didn't hit one for a while no I think it's a loop he's back to it that makes more sense <laughs> <laughs> for a game with this budget but he okay oh man okay I think we're finally done. This is gonna be the longest outro video's ever had. I wanted to say something else, which is why I've been talking this whole time, and I totally forgot did, what it was gonna be. Did you want to plug your tournament? Oh, sure, yeah. I'm hosting a tournament. I made a video about it. It's in New Jersey. Uh, there's like two tickets left though, so if you want it to be in it, you should get it, the ticket, now. But, of course, if you did want to attend but could not get a ticket yourself, you are welcome to stand outside the game store looking in through the windows during the tournament. I think you actually can stand in the game store. There just won't be a chair for you to sit in. So, <laughs> <laughs> And there's a wait list, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. All right. I suppose so. I'm going to end the video now. See you guys in the next game, which will no doubt be very soon, based on our track record. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for playing my game. I am so glad that OBS has a are you sure you want to stop recording button. <laughs> because I pressed stop recording, you started saying that, and then I didn't press are you sure you want to stop recording. That's great. Thank you so much for that, and thank you so much for playing my game. I made this game. Alright, goodbye now.